lot about how amazing the brewery scene in Bangalore is. Uh, so while here, I'm going to try my best to try out as many breweries as I can. And uh, my first stop on my brewery crawl in Bangalore is at Iron Hill. The place is beautiful. It's so spacious. There are two different sections inside and outside. The decor is amazing. Uh, there are like these uh, little ponds of water, water fountains, and uh, just the decor is just beautiful. And they have a bunch of their house crafted beers. So we have ordered one uh, berry cider, which has a very nice berry flavor. And the wheat beer that I am having has uh, undernotes of banana and clove, which is very nice. And the season special beer has undernotes of orange and coriander, which is very, very nice and fresh on the palate. stop on my brewery crawl across Bangalore is at Puru Brew Works. Uh, the space is absolutely stunning. It's huge. They have indoor and outdoor seating sections and uh, we saw some really really pretty looking cocktails on uh, the nearby table. So we ended up ordering this uh, very pretty looking purple uh, cocktail which has I think lavender and elderflower flavors and we've also tried also this is their um, uh, classic wheat beer which is uh, really good but I think my favorite uh, drink out of the lot has to be their season special guava chili meat. It has a very nice um, undertone of uh, guava and a nice hint of spice that is given by the chili. multiple sections downstairs and upstairs it's lit up with beautiful lights and the best part about it is their beer selection okay they have an insane variety of beers uh, ranging from the really fruity sweet ones uh, to like the really darker uh, ones they also have the original German wheat beers as well uh, the one which I have ordered is called Ananas which has uh, really nice notes of uh, pineapple uh, it's basically Pilsner and light wheat malt and they use hand-picked fresh pineapple with a selection of uh, sweetness and acidic ratio. So it's actually very sweet and acidic at the same time and it gives you a very nice refreshing flavour of pineapple. I'm a huge fan of light beers and if a light beer comes with a uh, citrusy or a slightly tart refreshing flavour, I think uh, just hits the right spot for me and this uh, beer is doing just that. 
<laughs> Apart from that, they also had uh, some other interesting uh, flavors like they have a beer called Ayurveda which has uh, all these superbly Indian kind of spicy notes. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my beer and I'll see you at the next video. Big Brewski was my last stop in Bangalore before I left the city. They're super popular for their Sunday brunches, uh, so I decided to visit the brewery on a Sunday afternoon right before I uh, flew out. Uh, there are two branches of Big Brewski in Bangalore. I went to the one which is closer to the airport. It's a beautiful, huge property. You have a beautiful water pond, water fountain kind of a thing with ducks swimming around in it. Their food is simply amazing. We ordered an appetizer of their cheese and naga chili rolls and we ordered a spiced chicken, both of which was really, really great. And another highlight for me was their dessert. We ordered a caramel popcorn cheesecake, which was just divine. And of course, I don't think I even need to say much about their beers. Their beers were amazing as well. So these were my favorite breweries across Bangalore. There are so many amazing breweries here that I could not cover all of them in a single trip, hopefully the next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below and let me know which one is your favorite out of the lot. And don't forget to check out the rest of the videos from my Bangalore series. Thank you for watching.